Oyagala okumanya ebiriwo ebyaliwo obebi gindo okubawo program tambula no kumanya gose tambula no kumanya ku MRU TV ne Royo FM tambula no kumanya tambula no kumanya Look at the history and pack the Idi Amin Tocha Chamber is located in Lubi Mengo, palace of the King of Uganda Kingdom. And the purpose of building this chamber was to act as an armory to protect the better keeping of the gunfire. Besides that, by then Idi Amin was Uganda's president for his short ruling power in life. Mm. Contractors. <laughs> Mukampala contract is Okusimbe, Zimbe, Gumu, Mukampala, Uda. For that, no, Amini, we are over for Embassy, Mukwano Gwe, Kano Mama Gaddafi, or Wedibia, the Sanyukanyo, or Ramuani, or Kuriachi, or Kurembeze, Kurembeze. Munna Munagi, when she had Kola, and get it here in Mukwano Gwe, Yaina, or Kumoa, a Chidabo. The Rebida of Yamua. Yes, yes. Yamua, the Tocha Chema was built inside Kabaka's palace in a local name known as Prekove. Between 1971 to 1972, in the reign of Idi Amin, and their construction took over eight months to finish it. He used his rights because they were the best engineers by then, and to note at first, he told them to build the place of Amari, but when it was completed, he turned it into a military base or barrack. Later on, he decided to turn it into a torture chamber, which had a metallic door at the entrance, filled with electricity and a pool of water in the corridors. The plan was that whosoever tried to escape from there, he or she was being shocked by electricity, and that the chamber consisted of five cells inside and the one part which was on the last door as dark as a yawning grave. The number of people who were arrested from here 
were in the cabinet of Sir Edward Mutesa II, and those were the political opponents of Idi Amin. They could first put them into the boats of cars and drive them around the city. After they could bring them back into the chamber and be shot with electricity mixed up with water. Place it had water, and the water was electrified. It had a gate. I mean, to make sure no one escapes. And most of the people killed in this place were got within Kampala city. I mean, the business center and the suburbs. Uh, they used to blindfold them, throw them in the car boots, the saloon cars in their boots, drove them around Kampala for six to seven hours uh, to confuse them. And reaching here, people were already hopeless. So they would use the electrified water in order to extract information out of them. One would switch on and off electricity for a few seconds. Of course, many people died in water. And those who survived, they were put, that was like phase one. Then they were put in the rooms. Inside, we have got five rooms which worked as cells. And they used to pack. They used to put men in each room. Eventually, they were suffocated and starved to death. Idi Amin was a man of its own thinking capacity who could torture people to suffer and to be killed in restless life during his reign. He never separated men and women. They were all tortured together in one cell and he ended up shooting them with bullets and after he could throw the bodies in the water, bodies around. From this place we are dumped into the Nile River and eaten by the Nile crocodiles. Others in Lake Victoria, they are bigger fish like Nile perch and tilapia. It cell was accommodating more than a hundred people with no window, ventilators, and people could suffocate without eating food and water till today. Over 200,000 people died inside and no one survived. Unfortunately, when Oboti came back after the overthrow of Amin, he just started from where Amin stopped. These people were tortured due to dishonoring his government and he felt a desire to make an extension. But it was all in vain because he didn't have good engineers like those of the Israelites. They were all being chased away by Idi Amin. That he killed over 19,000 people in a period of seven years. In 1980, when Obote came back for the second time, he was told about Idi's behaviors. He also revenged and killed more than 6,000 Idi supporters in the same place. So altogether, Idi Amin and Obote, it is estimated that they killed over 25,000 people in here. The people killed in this place mainly were intellectuals, say the doctors, lawyers, university dons, economists, engineers, and other important citizens of this country like high priests. Um, they never killed women and children, so they were targeting men. One would ask why were they looking out for intellectuals and professionals? Uh, uh, Idi Amin thought that uh, with the intellectuals around him, he was not uh, safe in his presidential seat. Uh, at times these people would challenge him. In 1966, when the palace was attacked by Idi Amin on the orders of Obote, in the same year, it was turned into a military base or an, uh, a military barracks. And uh, the palace is so big because uh, the palace grounds covers 264 acres of land. This is very big. So it turned into, they, they used to call it Maride. <laughs> As we speak now, Idi Amin died in 2003, but the torture chamber still exists as a testimony and witness to those who have ever heard about his anger ruling in the country's history. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bar. 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 I'm going to go to
Sini cinta, orang dah nak nazi kat mana pun. Cinta baru ada orang mesti. Orang mesti, orang mana ni? Naya ati, ubah gaya ni pas orang punya ati. Cikin apa yang dia ni? Kubangga, ubah pas orang punya ati. Tapi motor ke zonga zinta, orang kami yang mesti. Pulau Wattin, zafu warga wujud sokur, ubah pas saja kami, fana yo, apa si, apa si ber, jebak dia. Jawab kita jangan buru buru mengubah dan mengkal. Baiklah, fana yang buruk pada si, berbalik kita. Apa itu? Apa tiba mana? Bari ada yang fuzi. Abari pada gatih mengubah mana yang tuh singgah. Abari apa yang enyo mengubah professors. Abari baru zaman kubu baru zaman enyo tuh singgah si. Di amin. Abari ukir yang amin itu dia dia semua. Apa itu abari? Mugufunza waliwa mufuganya. Na ingi ingi tibo amafuwa chanda mo, amasi mwa kampu kumu kumaso, mutege wana mifuwe. Wapo tega mchirole, ba mufuganga, kwa itoro zetifu, kwa mufuwe ba mufuati zana, okumani sawa, ezuela. Mwanu mwanu nyati, na wanda apu chanda la nyawo, kule kile tino, kutoa kutoa mchifu, ichewa. Jukati bicara apa? Mesti fokus ni dalam bangku hati dia. Tiada yang susah kalau kita bangku bangku ni tangga orang. Nampak zaman aku ya ya na aku aku orang aku aku kira malu bosan kerja aku malu bosan kerja aku kira na ya aku negara aku jamu cina aku susu caci. Cina aku perukan orang negara aku cina aku malu bosan tinggi ni dah aku susu jamu cina ni. Ni ada yang asyik cik. Malu bosan dia ekom. Ha, susu kita ekos. Orang kana. Jauh cukup lagi tinggal. Nampaknya kan mutiara. Jauh ini nak mula mesti angin nak putar asa. Di wawalan rosolin fuchidalan nyu. Ah, rosolin ini cuma. 